if you think about it, you can make an you can make an intelligible you know argument that Jesus Christ is in fact Armenian. <laughs> so think about it. Everybody has that uncle, that one uncle that says, "Do you know the Armenian invented the wheel?" And I'm like, "No, I think caveman invented the wheel. The Armenian invented the BMW that the wheel goes on." <laughs> outlandish, outlandish statements. You know, Jesus Christ was Armenian. You do know that, right? <laughs> he might have been Armenian if you think about it. He was in construction. <laughs> he had an older girlfriend that nobody knew about. <laughs> and he lived with his parents until adulthood. <laughs> Sounds pretty Armenian to me. You know, you learn something new every day. I was reading last night as the other day, and I went to Armenian school for 12 years. I like to do well today. No, it's a lot of you, yeah. Yeah. We survived. And we had our meeting class. And I was reading last night as apparently the Armenian word for prostitute is not pause, which I thought it was. No, it's Marm Ravajar. <laughs> For the non Armenians in the audience, that directly translates to body seller. <laughs> why do we do that? Why is the Armenian language, why do we feel we have to define the damn word in the damn word? <laughs> if you think about it, I used to have arguments with my Armenian teacher all the time about this. Certain words are definitions of what they are. Another one, Gen Tanaparagan Bartes. Not very efficient in conversation. Now that translates to animal, animal prison garden. It's a lot easier to say zoo. Other words are just plain lazy. What's the word for potato? Anybody, help me out here. Ken Nachanson, right? That means ground apple. Yankee Top Soda, anybody know what that is? Corn, translates to Egyptian wheat. My favorite one is Hunt Gahav, Turkey. Hunt Gahav, now I've been arguing with my teachers on this for years, and I'm like, that word was invented by Armenians in America. Because if you break that word down, it means Huntigi Hav. Indian bird. Thanksgiving! Because I doubt there's some Indian guy with a turban standing in a corner in Yerevan saying, Would you like to try my burp? 